Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another In Club Planet Fitness workout. My name is Teddy Savage, coming to you guys from Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm super excited to take you guys through another In Club workout experience. But if you're still home for whatever reason, don't worry about it, okay? I'm gonna give you guys modifications that you can do in the friendly confines of your living room and still get a great working experience. But we are super excited to get you all back into the gym, and we've been working extremely hard to prepare, okay? Our friendly, awesome staff has been actually increasing the number of rounds and really deep cleaning those high touch areas. We want you guys to be safe, but also comfortable when you're getting your workout, all right? But we didn't just stop there, guys. Each club you go to will have a number of easy to find cleaning stations like the one over my shoulder. Each one is gonna be equipped with paper towels and disinfectant spray. We want you guys to help us out by being clean considerate. That just means clean your equipment before and after you use it. And at any time, if you have any questions whatsoever, our awesome staff is waiting and ready to help, okay? Now, we want you guys to make sure you scrub down for 20 seconds before your workout. I know I did, I hope you guys have as well because I'm ready to get cooking, baby. Let's get saucy. Now you guys know the golden rule, but for any great workout, we gotta start with a warm up. And I wanna get total body blood flow, so we'll start with bending reaches. I want you to have your feet about hip width apart. We're gonna go to a four count. It looks like this, one, two, three, four. Four is really a reach up on the balls of your feet so we engage the posterior chain. That's calves, hamstrings, glutes. You guys ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good, if you want to, you can add a hop in there too. Working out should be fun, guys. One, two, three, four. Let's go two more. One, two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, and four. Outstanding job, guys. Okay, so let's keep this warm up going. I wanna add some rotational core involvement to this thing, okay? So what I'm gonna do is take my right hand, extend it across the midline of my body, and rotate my chest, shoulders, chin, and eyes in the same direction. Then I'll reset and go to the opposite direction, just like that. You guys ready? Let's go. Twist and pivot. Now I want you to pivot on that back foot or your opposite leg. That means the balls of your feet are down, your heels come up, and you really extend it to get that rotational core involvement, okay? Your core wraps around your entire body. It's like a ring. Good, here we go. One more each way. Really reach, okay? We wanna engage that core. Last one, extend that arm and relax. Outstanding job, guys. Lastly, let's end this warm up in a dynamic way. Let's do an oldie but goodie and it's jumping jacks. Now, if you need to modify jumping jacks, just step out laterally, but keep that arm swing above your head, just like this. One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. You guys ready? Let's get started. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I feel like dance. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Keep working. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Engage your core, belly button to your spine. Five seconds. Five, four. Three, two, one, and relax. Outstanding, guys. So let me tell you what we're gonna to do today. Today is all about total body workouts using body weight movements that can also be applied to using TRX straps. TRX straps are great for working on stability, strength, balance, core engagement, and explosiveness, okay? So if you have a gym that has a 360 with TRX straps, I'm gonna show you guys how you can use those, all right? All right, guys. First exercise is body weight squats, okay? So I want you to really get those heels planted firmly into the ground, drive your hips back as you sink down to your fullest range of motion and back up. When you come back up, keep your knees soft and shoot your hips forward as you squeeze those glutes. If you wanna add a plyometric element, just add a quick hop in the middle. Here we go, 30 seconds, guys. Let's go. Butt down, chest up, chin up, eyes up, butt down. Chest up, chin up, eyes up. Squeeze and shoot those hips. Try to drive those hips through the screen towards me and I'll do the same in return. Drive those hips, squeeze those glutes, or we're hopping and exploding. Now if you're adding that hop, make sure you land nice and soft so you're not having impact go to your knees. Good, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Now guys, you know I gotta get saucy, so we're gonna add some cardio acceleration to this thing. I wanna get our heart rate up, closer to our target heart rate zone, and sustain that throughout the workout. You guys ready? Let's go. So we're just gonna jog in place for our cardio acceleration. I want you to rotate from your shoulders, not your elbows. 
Rotation from your shoulders allows proper range of motion. Good. For modification, you're tapping, but we're still rotating those arms. The body is symmetric. So if your arms are moving, your legs should be moving and vice versa. Good, keep going. Into your nose. Out of your mouth. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Great job, guys. Okay. So our next combination is back lunges into cardio acceleration. Back lunges, I want you to be about hip width apart. We're just gonna have our hands on our hips, step back into that lunge, sink down so that our front knee is 90 degrees, shoulders, hips, knee on the back leg are all in line, okay? Then alternate sides, just like so. For a modification, just do a pronounced step back and come back up. You guys ready? Let's get cooking, baby. Let's go, chest up, chin up, eyes forward. You're really working those muscles in the lower half, that's going to be our glutes, quads, hamstrings. Make sure you keep your core engaged, okay? Modification, remember, pronounce step back and up. Pronounce step back and up. All right, remember, if you're doing a modification, don't worry, you're still getting the same amount of work, still working the same muscle groups. Good, we got five seconds, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Outstanding, okay. So now our cardio acceleration this time is A skips, all right? So A skips are just one, two, three, four. Different from jogging in place because we're really focusing on knee drive. Knee drive is really good for those lower abs. Here we go. 30 seconds, let's get it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Chest up, chin up. Rotate from the shoulders. Be soft on those feet, okay? Drive, drive, drive. I'm coming towards you, baby. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep moving. Keep pushing. Keep the heart rate up. Burn calories while you strength train. Why not? Why not get better in every category? Drive, drive. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Great work, guys, okay? So our next one is a great compound movement because it combines two exercises. We'll do a bent row, just like this, hinge at the hip. Keep a nice flat back, draw your elbows, straight up to the sky, then do a reverse flop, okay? So we're gonna work the lats, as well as these muscles called your delts right along the top of your back. You guys ready? 30 seconds, let's go. So we're here, notice guys, I'm not using any weights right now because I'm focusing on body mechanics, form, and technique. I want you to remember that as you get back into the club. Even if you're using weights right now from home, Start small, focus on form, technique, and body mechanics. Draw those elbows back. Good, squeeze in between your shoulder blades like it's an imaginary acorn. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, and one. Outstanding, okay. So now cardio acceleration for this one is gonna be a lateral lunge up, opposite side, lateral lunge and up, okay. You guys ready for a modification? Just again, give me a pronounced step out to the side and back. If you want to dance with it, like your salsa dancing, you can do that too, baby. Working out should be fun. It should not be a chore. Here we go. Ready? Let's get it. One, two, three, four. Speed it up if you can. Two, three, four. Sink those hips back. One, two, three, four. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Three, four. One, two, modification. Three, four. And I'm a dance, okay? Why not? Why not have fun with it, okay? One, two, three, four, five seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Great job, okay? So now we gotta work upper body, and I love doing compound movements, so we're gonna combine exercises again. I wanna do a lateral shoulder raise, close the door, go into a wide pool, okay? So it's one, two, Three, and return for four. You guys ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. 30 seconds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Really focus on that mind-muscle connection, okay? One, two, three, four. Engage your core. This is working your shoulders, your chest, and your back, okay? Awesome, guys. One, two, Three, you got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, guys, 
Now let's do some butt kicks, okay? Now butt kicks are different from running in place because they're designed specifically to wake those hamstrings up. And the posterior chain is extremely important to functional movement. All right, so we got 30 seconds for our butt kicks, okay? And it looks just like this. Kick the heel up to your butt. Again, rotating from the shoulder. I got my hand in my pocket while I'm feeding the bird on my opposite shoulder. Here we go, ready? Let's go, 30 seconds. We butt kicking. We're waking those hamstrings up. And for a modification, slow it down and just go side to side. But maintain the rhythm with your arms and your lower body. But we're going and we're rotating those arms and we're getting the heels up to our buttocks. Here we go, five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Outstanding job, guys, okay? So now, let's get that rotational core involvement because when we do that, guys, we hit obliques as well as our low back muscles right here. And those are operative for our posture. And posture is key. All right, so what I want you guys to do is have your hands just like this. Palms clasped. We're gonna twist just like we did in our dynamic warm-up. Reset and twist again. But now that we have our hands clasped, we're also working our pectoral muscles as well. You guys ready? Let's go. Twist. 30 seconds. And I really want you to generate some torque through your torso with this as well. So that means as I turn, I snap back to ready, and I go to the opposite side. Good. And as you guys see over my shoulder, we got Ian and Megan, and they're being very clean considerate by wiping down their equipment that they're using before and after each use, okay? Good. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Outstanding job. Now for this last cardio acceleration, let's do a couple of hot squats, okay? I want you to start a little bit wider in your base. Remember, base is important. I want you to have your right hand down. We're gonna tap, up, tap with the opposite hand and back up, okay? You guys ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good, chest up, chin up, eyes forward. Outstanding. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five seconds left. Five, four, Three, two, and relax, baby. Okay, so guys, that first round was all about the body weight movements. So now the second time around, I'm gonna introduce the TRX straps into a movement that looks exactly like we did the first circuit or something extremely comparable, okay? You got 60 seconds, go ahead and get a shot of water if you need it, or wipe your face down like I'm about to. All right, remember, we're super excited to get you guys back into the club, but we wanna do it the right way. Being clean considered is now an extremely important part of a great working routine, okay? Or a workout routine. All right. So now, our TRX strap is right over here. As you can see, the yellow and black straps. Now, these straps can be adjusted, and it's four different adjustments. It's going to be fully shortened, mid-length, mid-shin, or fully lengthened, okay? We're going to do everything from a mid-length perspective today. So you catch these buckles. Pull them down so you get to the midpoint of that strap and we're good, all right? So now what we're gonna do first is those TRX squats. So I wanna come to them about arm's length away. This is called an anchor point. The further I'm away or my feet are away from the anchor point, the easier, the closer they are to it, the harder the exercise, okay? So all we need to do here is sink our hips down, just like we did the first time, bring the hips up and squeeze. If we wanna add that jump, we're here, but if you have any knee problems or your range of motion is not as much as you would like for it to be, use these TRX straps. Here we go, 30 seconds. Let's go. Sink down, squeeze, shoot the hips. Keep your chest up, chin up and eyes forward. Notice, even though I'm arms length away, I'm never locking my arms out. Very important, guys. Squeeze, shoot the hips forward. Now I'll add that plyometric element to it, just like that. Come on down, nice soft landing. Good, breathe in through your nose. Out the amount. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Outstanding job, guys. Now, as you can see on the, on the Synergy 360, I also have a platform, so I want to utilize that for my cardio acceleration. I'll just do a step up. One, two, three, four. You guys ready? And again, at home, you can still do your run in place, march in place, or a skips. So let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two. You make sure you get your whole foot up on a platform, that's key, because we don't want to slip off. If you slip off of here, you could injure yourself, 
That's no good. One, two, three, four. Soft knees, good. Keep your chest up. Keep your chin up, eyes forward. Rotate those arms, good. One, two, three, four. Drive the knees up because we got our platform up a bit, but that height can also be adjusted. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Great job, okay? So now we're gonna go back to our TRX and do those back lunges, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna keep it at that mid length. All I wanna do, arms length away, I'm gonna step back into that back lunge, keep my chest up, and a slight bend in my arms, okay? Ready? Let's go. One, two, alternate for three, four. One, two, three, four. If for whatever reason, you have any knee problems or ankle problems or hip problems, suspension training helps you with that, okay? Chest up, chin up, eyes forward. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Outstanding job, guys. Okay, so now what we're going to do is step and do a butt kick just like that as we alternate on the platform, okay? So it's just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You guys ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make sure you keep your chest up, chin up, eyes forward. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make sure we're getting those hamstrings engaged while also driving the knee up. Because again, lower abdominal engagement is extremely key. Five, four, three, two, and relax. There we go, baby, okay? So next we have our TRX rows, just like those bent rows we did before. Still at mid length with the straps. Now, I wanna walk my feet closer to the anchor point to make it more difficult as I draw my chest up, keeping my elbows tight to my body. If I wanna make it easier, walk your feet away and do the same motion. 30 seconds. You guys ready? I believe in you. Let's do it. Here we go. Squeeze, release nice and slow. Keep those elbows in close to your body. Good. Crack that acorn every single time. For modification, just walk your feet away from the anchor point and still get a great back exercise. Good. Really squeeze, my muscle connection is key. Squeeze in between those shoulder blades. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Great job, guys, okay. So now what we're gonna do for cardio acceleration on this one is we're gonna do a couple of side steps with a leg kick, okay? So it's gonna look just like this. One, two, three, four. If you're at home, what you can do is a squat into a side lateral leg lift. And then you alternate sides when we come back around to it. You guys ready? 30 seconds, let's get it, baby. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, just tap, four. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. Keep going. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Outstanding, you wanna feel this one and those abductors right here, also in your heart rate, okay? Push, five, four, three, two, last rep, best rep, here we go. Ah, and finish, good job, okay? So now what we wanna do here is TRX Y pulls. And this one is extraordinarily beneficial for these muscles right here, okay? What I wanna do, same rules apply. Feet closer to the anchor point. It's a tougher exercise. Feet further away makes it a bit easier. So we're gonna start with our palms facing down and we're just gonna pull back and into a Y and really squeeze those muscles right here. You guys ready? 30 seconds. Let's get going. Pull ah, and down. Good. Pull into a Y formation and down. If you can see your hands, you wanna pull more. If you want it to be slightly easier, step away from the anchor point, do the same movement, okay? Really push, outstanding. We got seven seconds, guys. Finish strong, you can do anything for seven seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Good job, guys, okay? So now what we're gonna do is the opposite side on this one. So I'll come over here and we'll do that same step up 
into that lateral leg lift on the opposite side. You guys ready? Let's go. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. Make sure you're keeping your body nice and engaged, no matter if this is cardio, lower body, this is total body. Push. 10 seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Believe in yourself. I believe in you. Five, four, three, two, and relax. We're coming up on the end, guys. So that means I need everything you got, okay? Push yourself to finish stronger than you started. That's mental fortitude. Here we go. So we're back on the TRX straps. We're gonna do a twist and reach, and it's, it looks just like it sounds. So we'll have both straps in one hand. I'm gonna go into a squat, twist behind me, and reach towards the top or the anchor point, okay? So we'll be here, twist, and pull and reach, okay? Ready? Let's go. So you're twisting and reaching. If you're still home, you should be doing those trunk twists that we did on the first circuit. Really twist and reach up. Good. I'll switch sides halfway through. Twist and reach. Twist and reach. Here we go. Opposite side. Twist. Pull yourself and reach towards that anchor point. Outstanding. Reach. Five, four, three, two, and relax. Here we go. Last cardio acceleration, baby. Dig deep. I'm sweating. I hope you're sweating. Let's have some fun with it, baby. Sweat equals results. Let's get it going. 30 seconds, just wanna go fast for you. Chop them up, get on your toes, knees, butt back, shoulders over my knees, knees over my toes. Ready? Let's go. Cha, cha, cha. 30 seconds, dig deep, finish strong. Let me come towards you so I can feel you. You guys feel me. Let's get it going together. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one, relax. Outstanding job, guys. That was great. And when we do anything together, it's that much sweeter. You did it, I did it, we did it. But before we go into our cool down stretch, let me remind you, as you saw Megan and Ian in the background, make sure you're clean sitter. Wipe down anything that you use before and after you use it. Now, even though we're back in here and doing our workouts in the club, we're still available Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Facebook or YouTube. But if you want more, like Saturday, Sunday, or any time, just download the free Planet Fitness app. It's awesome. It has tons and tons of workouts. Let's get a really quick cool down stretch and get out of here, okay? So stand up tall, cascade down like a waterfall, grab the back of your legs, pull yourself, chest to your thigh, Nose to your knee, come right back up. One more time. Come on down, chest to your thigh, nose to your knee. Up, hands on your hips. Drive that left leg up and stride out. And use these hands to push those hips through the screen and stretch those hip flexors. Good, back up, drive that right leg up, stride out. Use these hands, push those hips through, chest up. Outstanding. And last stretch, guys, for the core. Standing nice and tight together. Push those hips and lean back. Get your chest to the sky. Really feel that stretch through your abdominal chain and low back. And relax, guys. Amazing job. That was a great workout experience. But again, if you're still home, you can do all of those exercises from the confines of your living room. Again, guys, my name is Teddy Savage. Coming to you guys from Baltimore, Maryland. Can't wait to see you in the club. Peace.